I have a few slides just I have a few slides just to show the difference between vert, uh, virtual and tracked cookie share. Just one moment. Trying to make this a little bit smaller so we can see. All right, now hopefully we can all see better. Um, virtual cookie share refers to cookie share donation cookies that are going to be donated by your council. And tracked cookie share is cookie share that's going to be donated by your troop to a local nonprofit. Um, in Smart Cookies, you have both options under the Orders tab. You have tracked cookie share and virtual cookie share here. The main thing to remember is that when you're recording these transactions, virtual cookie share actually creates an order and assigns the cookies to the girl, and that's offset by a payment that usually is already there either by credit card or you'll enter the payment if she gives you cash. Tracked cookie share, when you go here, this is just a, a, a reporting mechanism. In other words, it's going to create a report for council that shows where your troop is donating the cookies. But tracked cookie share does not actually move any cookies in your inventory or assign any responsibility. It's just a report. When you have tracked cookie share, you need to donate those cookies to the, I, I'm sorry, not donate, but transfer those cookies to the girl first, as if you're actually giving her the physical box of cookies, but then you'll hold that box of cookies aside for your troop to donate. So I'll explain that again in more detail, but just want to remind everyone that you are going to track cookie share just to report what your troop is doing. And in virtual cookie share, you're actually assigning responsibility to the girl. And again, virtual cookie share does not involve any physical inventory from your troop. This is where you're going to collect the payment from the girl and deposit it but the council is going to donate the cookies for you at the end of the season. And Kim's going to talk later about where they're going to donate those cookies. With virtual cookie share, once you go to orders, click on virtual cookie share, it'll show you a list of your girls and you'll simply enter the total that you want to assign to them for virtual cookie share. And then you can put a note at the bottom and hit save. For tracked cookie share, Tracked cookie share is coming out of your troop's physical inventory. You're going to assign that transaction to the girl as regular troop to girl transaction. So the girl comes to you with $6 or $5 and she says, I have a donation. You're going to collect that money. You're going to go into smart cookies and you're going to give her a package of cookies, whatever it is that your troop is donating. And then you're going to hold that package of cookies um, until the end of the season for your troop to go to the Ronald McDonald House or the fire station or wherever you're going. You'll go into Smart Cookies and do the transaction and then enter tracked cookie share so that you can tell your council where you donated those cookies to. At the end of the season, the council wants to have a full report of everything that was donated either by the, by the council itself or by the troops so they can report out to the community how many cookies made it into the hands of, of different organizations. So again, you'll actually do a transfer order first if you want to do tracked cookie share. You'll transfer the cookies to the girl, doing a troop to girl transfer, and then you'll hold on to that box of cookies, unless the girl's going to go ahead and donate it for you. But if the troop's donating, you'll hold those cookies back. And that way it's out of your inventory, but it's set to the side so that your troop can donate it. Then you into tracked cookie share, which is where you'll report to council where your troop has donated all of their cookies. The first thing when you hit tracked cookie share, you'll have this big button in the middle that says manage recipients. You want to click on that button and you want to enter the name of the place that you're donating the cookies. Remembering that you want to donate to a nonprofit or to an organization that will not resell the cookies, but that will use them for the, the purpose intended. So you could put the fire station 36 here or Ronald McDonald House or, where, or veterans organization, wherever you're going to donate. You just want to put the name of that organization and hit done. Then you'll come back to your list. You'll click on the recipient drop down arrow here because you may have more than one place that you're donating. Maybe you're donating to two or three places. Maybe it's all going to the same place. But either way, you add all the recipients. Then to each girl that you want to give credit, you would just put recipient and then please put the packages you're assigning to that girl in the other column. And again, this is just a reporting tool. The girls can see how many their troop donated. They'll, they'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see it and council will be able to, to report out how many cookies were donated by the troops. Reports that will help you to see if girls have donations online. There's two valuable reports 
report. One is the girl balance summary and one is the girl cookie order details. So you can see those in your popular reports here at the top or if you go down to the report section in alphabetical order you can find them as well. So you would go to reports and then current reports and look for this girl balance summary or girl cookie order detail. And again, when you click on one of the reports, here's Girl Balance Summary. You can either type in the girl's name here just to get one girl's report, and you have to type her name exactly as it appears, no nicknames or anything else, um, and then click View Report, or you can put nothing in the filters and just hit View Report, and it will show you all the girls in your troop. So a Girl Balance Summary shows you all the cookies that have been assigned to the girl up to this point. So for this particular example, this girl already has two cookie share assigned to her. She had 60 cookies in her initial order, and she has six direct ship cookies here. And then she has a booth transfer down here. So this will show all the different cookies that have already been assigned through Smart Cookies. At the bottom, though, this girl has a negative balance due, meaning she has received more payments than cookies assigned to her. And often you see this happen when the girl has either donation cookies that she hasn't told you about, or she's just received so many payments and hasn't collected, hasn't come to you to pick up the extra cookies to fill those. But you'll definitely see it towards the end of the season when it comes to donation cookies. A lot of times girls have taken orders online or they've taken donations online and if they haven't told you about it then you haven't assigned those cookies to them because you haven't made the decision yet whether it's a council donation or a troop tracked donation and that's what you'll need to go in and do. Now during initial order period all of those cookie shares flowed automatically and automatically assigned as council cookie share. Just initial order. After initial order though, any donations that the girls took online were left as payment assigned to the girl, but no cookies assigned to the girl because your council allows you to choose troop or virtual. So you have to make that decision. So where you can see that the second report I was talking about is girl cookie order details. This is a great report to run towards the end of the season because it includes a category that says included in IO, so included in initial order. If, if those cookie share were already in the girl's initial order, there would be a Y here for yes, and you would see that reflected on her girl balance summary. But in this instance here, this girl had a girl delivery order. It was not included in her initial order, so it hasn't been assigned to her automatically, and she had a cookie share right here. So this particular girl had come to her troop leader and she knew she needed eight boxes of key. Sorry, folks, it sounds like we might have lost Carrie for a little bit. Um, she's had some technical difficulties over the last couple of days. She's in the Reno area, and I know they've had lots and lots of weather issues. Um, so sorry about that. But I can um, see if anybody's ready with a question or two about what was being presented, questions about the girl um, balance summary report, anything like that. So it sounds like there can be a mix of virtual cookie and track cookie like everywhere except in the initial order right and how you would assign those is based on what the customer was told so if the customer if you had if you were at a booth and you made a sign that said uh, benefiting women's and children's alliance those are tracked cookie share and your troop needs to give those cookies to the Women's and Children's Alliance. If it was, hey, buy cookies to send to the troops or to support military veterans, those um, you could send those to your own um, nonprofit. So that would also be a virtual or tracked cookie share. And then if you wanted us to take care of it and we would donate it to Blue Star Mothers and the Gowan Field and all that stuff, then that would be the virtual cookie share. And an easy way to think of it is virtual means you don't touch the actual cookie box. You don't take inventory of it. You don't take possession. You don't have to take it anywhere. It's just a virtual or imaginary cookie box. Um, and then tracked is T for troop. So if it's a troop specified 
uh, organization and the troop is going to handle the cookie and um, don't deliver the cookie, then that is a tracked cookie share. So if oh. you had people donate money without any, you know, without any discussion about what it was for, then mm -hmm. that's up to our troop how we handle it. The donation. Yes, it's up to your troop which where the cookies go. Because mm -hmm. I was, um, I'm kind of holding on. It's like I haven't done anything with my donations because I thought maybe at the end, if I have cookies left over, that's a good way to get rid of the cookies that I have. Yes, if as long as you haven't promised something to the customers, that's not going to happen. So yeah, we have, whatever we was said, any promises. <laughs> great. <laughs> so on the booths with the boot divider, uh, automatically when you put in donations on mm -hmm. the boot divider, do I have to then manually put it into the virtual cookie? Sure. No. No, once you enter it in Smart Booth Divider, that automatically assigns it as virtual council cookie share. Okay, because the numbers aren't coming up, up on the girls for virtual cookie for their badges and all that. Can, uh, Kim, do you want to take a look at her troop in Smart Cookies or, or save that for offline? I'll go, I'll go take a look at it. In the well... Smart Booth Divider, you should be able to see it. Yeah, I'll go take a look at that while we're, if you either want to head back to the uh, PowerPoint or mm -hmm. take another question, um, and then Danielle, I will dig into your troop. Okay, thank you. So Carrie, since you're back, yeah, if you would like to jump back into the slides, that would be great. Sorry, guys, I was uh, talking to myself for a good five minutes there. I don't know where <laughs> I lost you, so where did I freeze? Do you know? Which... Uh, how far into the presentation did we get before it froze out? Well, I know we talked about the girl ballot summary report, but I don't think we got through the whole thing. To the cookie details. Okay, let me get there real quick. Let me see if it'll let me share screen again. Love technology. All right. So we were looking at, if we go back, the girl balance summary, and we were showing how the transactions are reported there in the top. And then did I talk about a negative balance and why they would see a negative balance? Yes. Okay. So if you see a negative balance or if you just want for verification, you can compare the second report that's very, very valuable is the girl cookie order detail report. This report shows you all of the girls orders online. It shows if they're girl delivery or direct ship. And it has a very valuable column here that says included in initial order, yes or no. So if it says yes, then those cookies were already showing on the girl balance summary. If it says no, then that means the girl has an order that is girl delivery that she's taken after initial order. You can look and see if she has any cookie share. For this girl, she had an order for nine packages of cookies that were paid for online. The payment shows on her girl balance summary, but she had only picked up eight packages, two peanut butter, two thin mint, two trefoil, um, two lemon, sorry. And she had picked up the eight, but she didn't notice that she had a cookie share. She didn't tell the troop leader um, this had not been assigned to the girl yet. So she was showing a negative balance because she was one package off and it was in cookie share. So if you go into your girl cookie order detail, you can see if there's any cookie share that needs to be assigned. You can also see it in your digital cookie app by running the all orders report. Um, on the troop leader side, you can go to the troop page, scroll down to the bottom and look for your all orders report. It's a green box that you can click on. Um, but you can also see in smart cookies by running your girl cookie order detail and it will tell you whether or not that cookie share was included in the initial order. We have questions on tracked versus virtual. And then it looks like they were able to find in the smart booth divider, if you if you have a booth and you collect a payment, someone hands you cash and says, I just want to make a donation. 
If you include that in your Smart Booth divider under Cookie Share, just a reminder that will automatically send that to Council to. All right, sounds like she's dealing with issues again. <laughs> okay, is there, um, does anybody have a question while we wait for Carrie's return? I do. So about booth dividers. So our troop did um, booths that we did not uh, sign up for. We just sold some after uh, church services at the church that sponsors us and I'm wondering how I get those cookies credited to my girls because I didn't have a booth set up officially. That would be with a troop to girl transfer. So just with the number of cookies for each variety that was sold, you would divide them up yourself for each girl who was there. And then you would go into the orders tab and do a troop to girl transfer. Okay. And how do we use digital cookie right now? Because I'm I'm mostly using smart cookie, but it seems like sometimes I need to, and I haven't figured out what I need digital cookie for right now. So digital cookie is a tool for you to um, allow your girls to accept credit cards at cookie booths or when they go door to door. That allows that option. Um, digital cookie also allows girls to um, sell cookies online. So if they have, you know, their aunt in Texas or their grandma in Washington or whatever, um, they can sell online for shipment. They can also sell online for donations and those donations go to Operation Cookie. And they can also sell to um, deliver cookies locally. So those are all options. Um, if and yeah, so the, they can be used for that. You can also do some investigation if the, some orders were taken through Digital Cookie and you need more information, you can run reports of um, orders taken in your troop. So that last thing that you mentioned is pretty much what a troop cookie manager would use it for. Yes, uh, most I likely. Don't, I don't have any girls myself. I'm a grandma, so. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> and I have one other question, uh, just about the awards. Mm -hmm. So are those, um, so if you, if you sell 75, you get a patch mm -hmm. and if you sell 425, does that mean you get socks and a coin purse and like everything down below? Uh, yes. Below that? All of the rewards are cumulative. So you get okay. all of the stuff and you also get, there's a grid on the left side that talks about program credits. So girls automatically get the program credits as well as the stuffy or the socks or whatever it is, yes. And the program credits aren't actual money we see in our troop. Um, it's just a it's just a number that the council keeps, right? It's well, not real money. Yes, and it's not real money. Um, it comes right now. It comes in paper certificates that the girls can use to spend for lots of different things. Those things are outlined very clearly on each sheet of the program credits. <clears throat> I have a sample in front of me if you want. Well, I think the biggest thing is that it's used for um, destinations and the Disney trip. So if any girls want to go to um, Disneyland and Universal Studios, that's coming up. And also for things at our store and for summer camp. And so registration. Those are the big things. Mm -hmm. And registration is something we need to opt out of rather than opt in. Correct. Yes. Yes. So you would click yes for every girl unless you know that she's not coming back. Okay. And so those come to us automatically or some way they come to the troop leader or so where the, do we see those? Well, you'll see them in the rewards tab and you'll place a rewards order. Okay. And it will have a color on the side. I think it's a red triangle with an exclamation point, if I'm recalling correctly, um, that next to each girl that you need to, uh, when they reach a certain level, you need to start making decisions. 
Um, so in making choices. And so if you have any girl that needs to be touched or need to make a choice, then they need to, um, then you'll need to make that choice. And then submit the order by the deadline. Okay. Now the deadline for the rewards is the day after the deadline for ordering and allocating all of the cookies. And that's so we know what level each girl should get so that the cookies are in, they're all in the system, they're all allocated and ready to go. And then the next day you can, you can also do the orders the, the day of, that doesn't matter, but the deadline for the, for the rewards is the following day. Okay. I relinquish the floor. I've asked all my questions. <laughs> well, I think Joy's got her hand up. Joy, how about you? What can we do for you? Hi, thank you. So most of my questions are about um, negative balances showing in smart cookies. And so oh, I know that easy. there's, uh, well, so my, I guess my main question is, is there any way that it can get messed up, right? Like, is there any way that, that those numbers will be wrong or should we just have like ultimate faith if there's negative balance, then the troop is probably, um, going to be cutting a check to the parents because maybe the parents have done nope. what they did. So there's going to be no checks cut to parents. Okay. Unless you accepted more money than they, more than $6 per each box they sold, which probably did not happen. But the, second, Kim, Joy is doing her a little bit differently. So oh, um, I wasn't aware. I, Thank you. Yeah, I think we might want to uh, do like a one-on-one -on -one to answer your question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can call you later this week. Kim, yeah. I just, or if you, or if you can just hang out until the end of this, if you have the time and then we'll answer your question at the very end, just because you are doing it a little bit differently than other troop leaders. Okay. Okay. I have a question. Yes. So I have a very complicated booth situation and um i'd love to know how to do this from you guys um so part of it is because of the splitting of the doors so we had walmart um uh, meridian on the first friday february 23rd i'm troop 387 in service unit 662 and so i've got like three different booths across the thing, right? I've got like the 11 to two shift, the two to five, and then I have the second door, two to five. And then I have a few girls that were working it. And so I don't, it's almost impossible to go in and distribute those cookies through the booth um, distribution thing in Smart Cookie because it's three different booths and it's a few different girls and they have different amounts that they get credit for depending on how many hours they work the booth. So how... How do you do that? Is there a way to bypass doing it through the booth distribution tool? Yes. Can Absolutely. you show me? <laughs> Kim, do you want to share your screen? Sure. Let me get the right thing up here. All right. And share my screen. Do, 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 do. All right, I'll just see some more cookies up there now. And let's see. I'm not going to end up submitting this, so I will use one of these booths. All right, so when you're in your divider, um, it's so like you said, you had a couple for a Walmart. Um, so we're going to use this one. Now, you can do them a couple of different ways. Um, one, you said like all of these Walmarts were on the same day, same location, right? Yes. Okay. So you could decide to combine them all into just one option on the smart booth divider and then divide it all between the girls. Um, so if you're in here, and I'm just gonna go random numbers in here. And 
and we'll put two girls in here. So it'll evenly divide them amongst each of the girls that you have clicked on. But say in here, Savannah was only there for an hour and Ruth was there for all three. So Savannah is going to only get a third of the cookies per whatever my girls have decided or um, however we've talked about distributing them. Um, so in that case, um, we're just gonna change these numbers and say she's just gonna get two of each flavor instead. But then I also now have this red box down here that says I still have packages left. So I need to then give the rest of them not saying I have one left. There we go. So then my one girl who was there for a couple of hours is going to end up getting more cookies because she was there longer. Um, so you can manually change these numbers um, after the fact. So if you've taken your total number of cookies and said, okay, um, I have X number of girls who were there for one hour, X number that were there for three hours. Um, what I personally do for, for, well, I did last year for my daughter's troop, um, was I took the total number of cookies divided by the total number of hours the girls worked. So if I had four girls that were there, um, two of them there were there for an hour and two of them were there for three hours, that is six, seven, eight hours total. I would take my total number of cookies sold, divide them by eight to get cookies per hour. And then each of my girls that were there for three hours would get three times that many and each of my girls that were there for an hour would get one times that many um and that was just the way that my brain said hey let's just do math we like math um but if you don't like math <laughs> um so it just kind of depends on how you want to split it up so then okay. if if you have you know maybe two of your girls were there for that first booth, a different two were there for the second one, and then a different two girls were there for that other door. Um, and if you have all of that separate, you can divide it in each booth. I, I don't have it separate. I, I, okay. ran, I ran the booth as one giant booth. I take an inventory when I, okay. and when I loaded it in my car from home, I took an inventory with what was left when I came back home. I mean, I've been doing this for 13 years, so I got all the math figured out. What okay. I can't figure out is how to group the three doors, like two, one door, two different times, the, the second door, another time, group those all. I mean, I would have to do outrageous amounts of math because I've got to divide <laughs> it by type because we sold 478 boxes. So is there, an, is there a way to bypass the booth input system that they've set up? Yes. Because that's so a lot of intricate math. <laughs> yeah, so you can just do a normal troop to girl transfer. Um, so I'll throw one of my girls in here and you can put them in the booth packages column okay. instead of putting them in the regular packages column. That way it assigns the packages of cookies to the girls without the financial responsibility because that belongs to the troop. Okay, so the troop is collecting all the money for it. Right. So do a troop to girl. Mm -hmm in but the then, booth column. What about the credit card sales that we took at the booth? So those are going to attach to the troop. Um, unless your girls took them under their individual pages. Okay. That, no. that all transferred into the troop. So it, it's all in, um, you go to your finance transactions. It'll all be here. So you'll see where it says like girl delivery credit card. Um, if there's one for a booth and I don't, know if this troop specifically has one doesn't they do it'll say booth credit card sale or credit card payment um in the description here okay so if i go tr so at the tabs at the top i go troop troop to girl mm -hmm. my troop okay under orders yeah do a Let's transfer Yep. And then you'll pick your girl. And then the only downside to this is you have to do it per girl. Whereas the booth divider, you can do multiple girls at once. Okay. Um, but also with, with the booths, um, if you wanted to put all three of those Walmarts under just that first, um, like if you had like the eight to 11 or whatever, that first shift, 
put them all in there in the smart booth divider, the other two booths can say zero. That's fine. They don't have to have cookies in a, in a booth. The only one that absolutely must get distributed is if you end up having um, a virtual booth that says pending delivery. That has to get distributed, but the rest of them can just kind of, they can hang out at zero and it won't yell at you that you have to have, you know, cookies in each booth. Um, okay, and that, <clears throat> excuse me, that leads me to the other, another question, which is I do have one that's saying virtual, uh -huh. but the Albertsons were really messed up for a while, right? Yeah, so- Have um, those been fixed? Sort of, I have, I have a workaround, um, but not actually like a fix. Um, so both tech teams from ABC and Digital Cookie are kind of stumped as to why our Albertsons booths are doing that. Um, but what you, so there, there's, I think two different fixes. One is for any of those um, payments that say not sold at a booth that were actually sold at a booth. Um, I have a spreadsheet that I can send to uh, ABC Smart Cookies, and they will, on the back end, turn all of those into booth payments. So those virtual delivery ones will null out. They won't exist. Um, but, or, it's not but, or, um, in your, so that the virtual delivery works just like a smart booth divider. Um, and you could go into that. Let's see, I don't think this troop has any. No, they don't. Um, so you can go into that smart divider, figure out which you know varieties of cookies need to go to which girl. Um, and then you would just remove that total number from your individual booth inventories and then allocate those booth cookies to the rest of the girls, knowing that you know maybe Samantha got 20 cookies from the virtual delivery. So I've got to remove that. And then any other cookies she's earned from cash sales need to still be distributed to her. Um, I found that it works easiest if you have one girl who earns all of those and maybe needs one or two out of the cash sales. Um, I had a troop I was helping with this that it ended up being really easy because they had like 26 or something like that in their virtual. And that happened to be exactly what one of the girls earned. So they just gave her all 26 of the virtual ones and then split the rest of the booth between the other girls. Um, so it, it just, they just have to, they have to be allocated, but then they also have to come out of somewhere. So if you put them in the divider, they just need to come out of that inventory because they're allocated somewhere else. Okay, so it's it's almost like dividing what happened just between two lines on there. Yeah. Okay. And if you need help, like I can help pull reports and figure out how many went to each booth and yeah because we've done several albertson's booths so are they all grouped together under one line now because i only see one line yes so like if i look at my daughter's troop so absolutely none of our albertson's locations and her and i have done like six um another girl has done four or five none of them have actually moved into smart cookies being connected to that booth um so i sent carrie a spreadsheet with a whole bunch of transactions and the, their team on the back end is fixing a whole bunch of them for me. But I still have a couple of, of booths that we've done in the last few days that are still sitting there in that pending delivery. Um, so instead of having them do more work and switch more of them, I'm just gonna allocate those differently. And it'll be like, all right, if I have 20 packages that came through with that virtual delivery booth, those will get assigned to one of the girls who worked it. Then all the cash payments that were at that booth go into the smart divider and then get divided up amongst the girls, knowing that the girl, one girl got all of those, or some of the girls got virtual delivery ones for that booth already. Um, and I can either divide that evenly amongst however many girls were there, or um, we've been doing a lot of mom and me booths this year. So it's all just gonna go to one girl anyway. And at that point, it's just however the math makes you happy. Um, 
to figure that one out. But unfortunately, I don't have an easy answer for um, figuring that out. And yeah, don't have an easy answer. I, I have an easy answer. Probably nobody's gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I have a question that may be slightly related. So, okay. So looking at the calendar, um, it says, so March 26th is the Troop Girl Rewards order due in Smart Cookies. And I, so the, the cookie allocation has to be done before March 26th. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So all of that will be done um, between you guys finishing up on Sunday and um, So maybe you have a little bit of troop inventory left um, after Sunday and you've got maybe 30 packages left and you have a girl who's 20 away from her, her goal or the next, you know, reward level. And she wants to take those in a wagon and go around her neighborhood and try to just get rid of them so she can get those 20 cookies. Um, so you can either give those to her and allocate them to her or, and then it's up to mom and dad to finish selling all 20, or, you know, you can try to see if she can sell them all. And if she only sells 15, you let her have the 15. And then you're still trying to figure out where the rest of those, those five are going to go. Um, and they can get allocated to what, whichever girl at the end of, at the end, when you're, you're finalizing and closing everything out, um, all of your cookie packages should be allocated to a girl. Okay. So, but we can, so hmm. my plan, so we, um, we have cookies left to sell. I um, refuse to do another cookie booth in the cold, wet snow. So we are waiting until after spring break, which will be after all the deadlines in the calendar. Right. And I, it's my understanding that is okay, that we can sell cookies until they are sold. Is that understanding correct? The sell by date on the boxes, like you, they can be sold until the sell by date on the boxes, which is September 1st. Well, uh, and, but, but, and, and it has to so. happen as one continuous sale. So yes. you can't take a month off and then come back mm -hmm. in July and start selling them. There has to be one continuous sale, but yes, sure. You can them at the booth the issue with that though joy is if you wait too long digital cookie will be off and you won't be able to accept credit cards through that system okay so so that i guess that was the kind of the first statement question so what is the debt so digital cookie ends on sunday so no more credit cards to end on the 17th yes the 17th okay um but we can still do and so the 17th and then the 26th is, what is the date for allocating packages to the girls? What is that final deadline? Is that the 26th? No, that's the 25th. That's when you want to have all the girls, all the cookies allocated. Um, if there's a girl that's like three packages to, you know, the Disney trip or something, if there's a girl at 207, she doesn't need those seven because the level is 200. So if you decide to, you can move some cookies around a little bit. Um, and that would be something that you'd wanna make sure that the parents are aware of, um, cause they sometimes look at how many cookies their girl has sold. And if they see it go from 207 to 200, they might freak out. Unless you say something like, parents, if your girl is at a level and has a few extra packages of cookies, we may reallocate it to make sure we can maximize everyone's rewards. It won't hurt your girl at all. Is that okay? okay. And so that is okay. something, a conversation you could have with the parents and then you can allocate the cookies, the, you know, two girls who need a little boost. Okay, all right, great. And then all that allocation is done in ABC cookies. Yes, and... smart cookies. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's, that answers my questions. Thank you. Great. Kelsey had a question in the chat. Um, she had asked a question yesterday and has a follow-up question. Um, Kelsey, did you want to come off mute or put it in the chat? Yeah. 
So um, yesterday I asked like in digital cookie, it's showing that we have 11 undelivered orders and somebody went through and showed me how to see where they were in the Excel sheet, mm -hmm. but they are all ones that were delivered to the hand of the customer when you do like delivered in hand or whatever. And there's not a place for us to go in and mark delivered. Hmm. Interesting. It is interesting. My daughter has two of them, supposedly, and I cannot find them anywhere in her record. I can see the customer mm -hmm. and I can see that the customer placed an order of cookies, but there's nowhere to go in there and like deliver them, mark delivered. Hmm. We'll check and see if Kim can find a spot. But otherwise, um, that would be a digital cookie question for GSUSA. And you're welcome to um, send it in to us and we can forward it to them or we can share with you how to ask them. Okay. It would be under Adelaide. Not Kylie. Oh, I forgot I'm still sharing my screen. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, yeah, it's the zero deliveries. But then when you go in as the troop, you can see them there. Kind of. Um, yeah. yeah. And you can see where it says there's 11 pending order deliveries. Mm -hmm. huh. You can't actually see the orders there. You can just see where it says right. there's 11 pending deliveries. Yeah, that, that's super weird. Especially if they were ones that like you handed to the customer and they yeah. are delivered, like you don't. If you go back to Addie's, mm -hmm. to Adelaide's, um, and then you go to the like delivered, with whatever screen you were on, where it had like the delivery options. All right, good luck, Kylie. Love you. You can see the ones that where it says in hand right there. That's mm -hmm. one of the ones that was not that is not being marked as delivered. that's definitely interesting um it's those two in-person ones at the end on page two that are being marked as not delivered on Addie's. the ones that have the check mark by them and it says delivered yeah so you've obviously What if we switch it back and then deliver it again? I don't know. I mean, that probably would prompt them another email uh, <laughs> saying it was delivered. <laughs> Might confuse some people. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would say at this point, um, I know you're trying to make sure that all of your orders and stuff like that get delivered, um, but just knowing that those 11 are delivered and it's being wonky, um, let's send it on to Digital Cookie and see if they can take a look at why it's not okay. communicating correctly between the girls and the troop. And um, do they get credit for cookies sold if they are not marked as delivered? Yes, I believe so. I think the, the delivering, marking them as delivered is just a feature for parents to say okay yes i took care of all my orders i delivered all my orders the girls still get credit for the orders even if they don't mark them as delivered because we could get to a point that um when you know access not access but when digital cookie shuts off on sunday um if you still have orders that are marked as not delivered you can't go in after sunday and mark them as delivered um so okay but it's not that those orders don't get delivered it's just you can't mark them the girls still get credit though okay um kind of related question we have a girl in our troop who has not delivered all of her initial order cookies we have offered help to mom we have prompted mom that she needs to get them done what do we do when she officially has not delivered them and cookie season is over so that's a giant yikes um yeah. yes. we absolutely we've I mean, we've had at least half a dozen customers call us from across the council that they haven't gotten their cookies. And we really, really, really want that to happen. Um, if you would send us, 
to customer care, the information, who it is and what you think they haven't sent. And we'll contact them and try to excite them to get going and do that because yeah. it's, it's critical. Right. Yeah. And, and that's what we've said too, especially because we're a troop in a small town that this looks bad on our whole troop and may prevent these people from ordering Girl Scout cookies in the future. Oh, and absolutely. we've offered to come like help the girl deliver them. And there has been little success. Okay. Um, well, as with anything, every detail that you can share is great. Um, I talked to her, you know, here's the mom's name. Here's the girl's name. Um, we talked to her at the troop meeting on March 1st. And we, you know, we are aware that she has a trunk full of cookies just give us some idea of like what volume we're talking about. Any details is helpful. Okay, sounds good. Great, and I, I see know. Jody's got her hand up. You're on mute still, Jody. Sorry. Yeah. Two questions um, about smart cookies. Mm -hmm. The cash that we receive at booths, besides depositing it into our troop account, do we have to report that into ABC Smart Cookies like we do girl transactions? Yeah. Okay, that's an easy so answer. It it defaults um, to it. It knows that you've received cash. It it just assumes that you know you're receiving money for the cookies that you're handing out. And so, as long as it there wasn't also a credit card attached, it assumes you're either getting cash or a check, and that you'll um, have that in your bank account. And then the credit card transactions automatically transferred into ABC Smart Cookies. Yes. And you can see those in the financial tab. Mm -hmm. um, so hang on, let me go in there. Um, so when we go into the financial transactions, um, of course, it kicks me out. Oh, I love to. And Carrie, by the way, apologizes for all of her technical issues, um, but she has IT looking at her computer right now. So, all right. So, looking in those financial transactions, um, in this bank column in your troop transactions, there will be ones that say like booth credit card payment, um, and that's like if you were to filter by that. Um, so, I don't have any in this troop but I'm gonna do like girl delivery credit card. Down here at the bottom, it'll give me a total of how many payments were taken that way. Got it, okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then my one other question, which I've asked you about it already, Kim, and you tell me not to worry about it, so I'm trying not to, but still in our dashboard, our total inventory, like the inventory total ordered, does not match up with like the amount of cookies that we've actually picked up from the cupboard. And I tried emailing, smart cookies about it and never got a response on it either. We're just, I'm like, we're just kind of curious what th those numbers are pulling from and no one's been able to answer us. Yeah. So they should, should is the big word there, be pulling from um, your orders in here. And I'm just going to apply everything. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so it'll be your initial order, any hmm. cupboard transfers that you've done, right. so that, um, and then like, it'll subtract total... anything you've moved to the girls. Um, so that's where it should be pulling from. Because like our total that we've picked up from our cupboard, including our initial order, it says it came out to 2961 That's including cookie share as well. Like the total amount of cookies that we've picked up is 2928 but dashboard shows 3,380. Interesting. And like, that's not including our initial order, which was 1953. And so I just don't know if where those numbers come from. Let's look here. So it says total ordered. 30, and like even including Jim, you might look at the troop balance summary. that will give you a breakdown of all their cookies. Their troop balance summary, Carrie. That'll show all the transfers in and out of the troop. Right. 
So here's your initial order. Other pickups. I'm only, I'm only hitting half of volume because it keeps freezing, but uh, I would check each of those transactions. Should they match what was taken in? in her How many were worked The only thing I can think of is if you had twenty the that were shipping. The top. Maybe the how many direct ship. The direct ship. I didn't. Okay. Yeah, so you've got nineteen twenty that you took. You had your initial order. Mm -hmm. you've got sixty two cookie share. Three hundred ninety three for direct total ship. cookie share, not just initial order cookie share, right? This is the total cookie share. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um. And then you've got your transfers in of 1,008. So those 393, those in troop direct sh ship mm -hmm. length, that's still be a lot of that. Okay. So it does include cookies that I never physically had if it's direct ship. Right, but they're okay. still considered part of your, your sale. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, because when it said order, I was like, I've never had that many. Okay. So, oh, Christian, you're looking for finding this screen. This is in uh, Smart Cookies. This is the True Balance Summary Report. And it's just, I pulled it in a PDF um, because these balance, or like the summary reports are just a little easier to um, decipher in PDF than they are if you try to put them in Excel, um, unless you're trying to like do something with all of the, the data at the bottom. Um, it's definitely easier to look at in the PDF. Did that answer your question? Ah, yeah. perfect. <laughs> Does it really matter as well? Like and as far current as the dashboard um, goes, our total on hand, like it says right now that I currently have 26 and I have like negative numbers in some of them. Does it really matter as long as like money comes out the same at the end? Because I have more, I currently have 59 cookies on hand and, but our inventory seems like it's a little messed up. <laughs> um, I mean, if, if you like I don't have negative, I have zero amendments. I just gave one to a troop yesterday, but it says mm -hmm. I have negative 54. That's a lot. Yeah. And you have positive so give, give something else. More yes. Nothing. Yes, we do. Not like none of the numbers match like my current inventory. So I would say that it doesn't really matter if you're um, you know, the flavors and stuff is not quite mm -hmm. right. If the money comes out, as long as you have received a, a, the amount of money for the number of cookies that have gone out, that's that's where we need to get. Yeah, yeah. that works for me. Thank you. And it, and it's also one of those same thing with you with your girls with their financial transactions. Mm -hmm. If you know that um, Madeline has given you every dollar for cookies that she's you know sold outside of you know credit cards but for some reason her balance in the system is still saying she owes money or you you know she's negative or something if you know that everything has been squared away it's been squared away yeah that works thank you yeah. okay uh allison you have your hand up I just finished. I was trying to put yeah. shard said chair. <laughs> anyway, um, I've just, is there a spot that you can see reports that simplify? Like um, it would say, if you're looking for a report that dot dot dot, and then you would have like helps you find what the girl owes, helps you find what the girl had transferred. We have to. that. Do we have that? That's what I wonder. <laughs> yes, I just it's, know. it's on that um, the cookie program updates and FAQ page. There's a list of reports and what it tells you. Yeah. Um, the two, my two favorites are, um, they both have the words balance summary report. Um, there's a girl balance summary report. And as long as you are entering in there, when a girl hands you $60 at a, cook, a troop meeting, um, that will tell you exactly the cookies she received, the cookies she sold, and the amount of money she owes. Mm -hmm. Similarly, the troop 
balance summary report will do the same thing on a macro level. And it'll show each payment. Um, it'll show your ACH that came in on February 28th and it's, everything's in there by date and quantity. And Carrie has a um, slide that shows um, some of that, so some of what that report says. And what, what is best for us to keep as printed record for our finances that we're supposed to keep for however many years? Like just that true summary or like is that going to be a lot of pages i'm just wondering like what so the yes the summary is going to be a lot of pages but the front page has mm -hmm. the specifics the, okay. the the totals and all that stuff and yeah. then the bottom page has your balance due but i think the top also has it in there so if you just print page one that should have what you need yeah page one or i mean if for some reason it, that one goes into multiple pages um that first bit before all of the transactions start showing up, that's really all you would need to hang on to. Um, I mean, if you want to print the very last page as well, that has like your total balance on it, um, that's up to you, or unless you want to just like handwrite it in um, at the very end. And then it, it's got all of that on there. I'm going to have to go back through my daughter's slips. I've kind of been waiting towards the end to deal with stuff because I don't have that many girls. Fortunately, I don't have all these booth issues because we're just doing individual booths for mm -hmm. this year. But for the like, I just tallied all her boxes and whatever cash she had. And I multiplied that and it says we owe $200 less than we owe. So I'm like, maybe I didn't input um, some cookies. I thought I inputted everything, but I'll go back through and double check because it's basically saying that we have 33 physical boxes in her inventory that aren't recorded or saying that they're paid. I don't know. It's just off whichever way so I think just being able to find you know deficiencies like where is it and you know maybe she has some donated boxes but I don't think she does not that I'm aware of but then if somebody did it online and only did donated boxes then I have to look up that report that you guys talked about earlier and that one you can see on the the girl cookie order details report um let me pull that up. I think Carrie had started showing us that in um, her slides and then got disconnected. I'll share my screen again. Yeah. Are you seeing the right screen? Okay, yeah. So th this report with the girl cookie order details. Um, so right here, I'm still sharing Jody's group, um, but we have Abigail um, and then it'll have this line here, it'll say whether or not that order was included in her initial order. So the Y's just mean it was, and the N's mean it was not. Um, so if she has anything that came in recently, um, like this one here, she had an order come in for girl delivery on the second, um, that was not included in her initial order. If, you know, Jody knows that hey, I have not given Aspen any more cookies in the last couple of weeks to, you know, fulfill her orders. I need to make sure that I give her those. Um, it'll also here total number of cookie shares. So here, this one was not included in her initial order. She has 16 cookie shares. So we need to make sure that in her smart cookies, she does actually have 16 cookie shares, whether they are a tracked cookie share that we are assigning physical inventory for, um, or if they are in the virtual share, and then we just have to go into our virtual share section and make sure those cookies have been assigned. Um, but this report will tell you how many donation packages came in from digital cookie um, to make sure that what you've got in smart cookies matches up. Can you do a quick show on, and I know most people probably know this, but where, because I haven't had any so far, but we're working on the operation cookie. Mm -hmm. Where do I go in Smart Cookie to put them that they're virtual? Like when yeah. they do additional ones at the booth or wherever? Yeah, so you'll go into your orders tab. Okay. And then down here, it says virtual cookie share. So in here, we'll just, and it'll sort them out by girl. So you just have to put in the total number of packages assigned or that each girl has earned mm -hmm. through that, that program and, um, they'll show up here. Okay. 
Perfect. And then when you're on your dashboard, they'll show up in the, the C share column. Okay. So even though they're virtual, all of the shared ones go together in that column. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? I I have one more question. Yeah. Does it matter? So I was just looking at our financial report. So we had girls at Boots, we had girls use their digital cookie app to accept credit cards. Mm -hmm. And all of these are, they just show girl delivery credit card versus like indicating them as a booth transaction. Does that matter? Um, now for your girls for a booth, you, they, you, you have assigned them all of the inventory they have taken. So there, there's no like troop inventory that's being sold at a booth, correct? No, like, no, 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 no. Okay. It was all troop inventory. And then depending okay. on how much was sold at the booth, it was allocated kind of like how it was described before by hours and bought packages okay. sold. Okay. Um. So in that case, if a girl took a payment on her individual page instead of the troop page, um, there's two ways we can handle that. One, you can send me a list of the transactions and I can send that on to Carrie and IT will fix it on the back end um, and get them assigned to the booth as the troop. Or you can do a troop to girl transfer for regular packages um, in the amount that she took um, for her individual page. So if she took a order that was just three packages on her girl page, um, and then realized she had the wrong one. So she only took the one order. You can do a troop to girl transfer for those three packages in the normal packages column. And that will even out her finances for that transaction. Um, but if say she did 20 transactions, um, that might be one where you wanna send me a list and we'll see if they can get fixed on the back end. Okay, so the act of when you when she would go in at the booth and indicate this is a direct like transaction done at a booth and then you choose the booth. Yeah. That wasn't enough to indicate all those as booth transactions. So it was. I think the thing here is that we're we're saying in in the inning the the payment and name first, and she took payment as credit balance. She she touched first and then Wow, Carrie, we're having a really tough fine. time hearing. That you, you sound like a robot. Every other word. <laughs> <laughs> I can just um, I'll I'll email a um. I'll email a list. I'll just, yeah, that'll be easy. So I'll email that to you, Kim. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Great. Anything else we didn't answer? Let's see, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen so that I can look at the chat. I don't think, ah. 